right, so we're gonna have a look at the Nescafe Dolce Gusto. That's what this is. And first step we need to do is fill up the water container, put it in the back, easy enough. Turn it on. And now you can see we have these cups. And for this particular one, I'm making a vanilla macchiato, which is, as far as I can tell, a vanilla latte. And there's two different colors. So each one of these cups requires both. We have the milk and the coffee. So we'll do the milk first. A little tray comes out. Put that in. Put it in here. And that punctures it. So now it's ready to roll. Put our cup in. And as you can see, as I move the dial up and down, it gives you different adjustments for the quantity. That looks good. Push the button, and I'm doing this in real time so you can see how quickly it goes. It's already got boiling water coming out, which I think is pretty fabulous. It's really actually quite fast. And it's about here, working its way up. And as it goes, you can see that the green bars go down. So that's a way for you to gauge how much you put in. And here's something I've found from experimentation is that you can always go and do a little more. So in fact, I don't know that this is enough. So what I'll do, give it a couple seconds, is I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little more in. And just There's a red button and a blue button on the top. <laughs> Frankly, I don't know what the blue button does. I haven't used it yet. Maybe it's room temperature water, but the red button gives you hot water. And whenever you're done, you can just say, done, stop. So now I'm halfway through my latte already. So now, open this up, pull out the little cup. And I have to say, one of the things I don't like about this is that these aren't recyclable. So now this is the coffee half of it. Um, I wish they were, because I do feel like there's a lot of waste involved. But now we have the coffee again. I'll do the same thing. So the milk is actually up to about here. And to me, a latte should be more milk than coffee. So that's where we are. And now the coffee is starting to drip out. You can see that. And we have the same thing with the bars going down. And this runs me about a buck. So for $9, you get 16 of these little cups. With some of the beverage mixes, you actually end up, oh, looks like we're perfect on timing. With some of the beverage mixes, you end up with 16 different cups, like an espresso. But with other ones where it requires two of these little guys, then you actually use two per cup. So it's actually eight cups and they're nine bucks at the market. So it's eh, about a dollar ten or so. Um, but by comparison, I think a latte this size over at Starbucks or something is about five dollars. So, and more importantly, I still have to leave the house. So we're done. Lift this up one more time. And here's our cup of coffee. Very nice. And I actually quite like this. And one other thing that I don't know if you'd get from just seeing ads or something, is that if you don't have anything in here, if this is just empty, you can just get boiling water out instantly. So it's really good for making cups of tea. And I suppose we could buy little gizmos for that, but tea is really cheap, and frankly, I live really close to a tea plant, so I can get tea incredibly inexpensively. So being able to get the water instantly is great. One other comment that I'll make about this is that if this runs out of water, move the cup out of the way. If this runs out of water, it just flashes. So it's really kind of hard to know that's what the error is. And the first couple of times I did it, that was definitely a problem. But fortunately, it's easy. Here's the hole. You just put the water in and you're ready to roll. And that's all there is to it. I got to say, I'd give this a strong thumbs up for those of you that like coffee beverages. And one more thing, it makes a wicked good cup of hot chocolate.